this part of the tutorial, we'll create a static load case for self-weight only using Larsa4D's Load Cases Explorer, then compute the effects of self-weight on the load case using a linear static analysis. To begin, click the Load button located above the Model Data Explorer to activate the Load Cases Explorer, which will take its place. Add a new load case by clicking the Add Load Case button at the top of the Explorer. Right-click the load case and choose Properties. Change the case name to Self Weight. Now enter negative 1 in the Weight Factor Z field. This indicates that gravity applies in the negative Z direction with a factor of 1. You may also use the negative Z button to enter in this value. Once entered, click OK to finish changing the properties of the load case. Now that we've created our new load case, we'll perform a linear static analysis to compute the effects of the self-weight. From the Analysis menu, choose Linear Static P-Delta Analysis. As there are no further options to provide for this analysis type, simply click Analyze. You'll now be prompted to save the project, which must be done before running an analysis. In some instances, you may be prompted to compute the torsion constant of some sections, which should be done if asked. Let's also keep in mind that we're launching the linear static analysis and not the p-delta analysis. Once this analysis completes successfully, you can close the analysis window and we'll see the Analysis Results Explorer automatically opens on the right side of the screen. Under the Results menu, select Units and then set the Results Units to Imperial Defaults by clicking the Imperial option. Open the Load Cases group under the Analysis Results Explorer and select the self-weight result. In Larsa 4D, there are several ways to examine analysis results, including graphically and with spreadsheets. We'll first demonstrate how to review results graphically. Select Graphical from the Results menu, and then select Deformed Model. The Deformed Model graphical results can be accessed through the Results menu or through the toolbar. Results in this analysis are only shown for selected members, so we'll select all members by using the Selection menu to choose Select Object, followed by Select All. Now if you direct your attention to the bottom right side of the screen, you'll see you're now able to drag the Scale Factor slider at the bottom of the Analysis Results Explorer up and down. The reaction labels can also be turned on here from the Floating Graphical Results Options tool window. Let's now turn off the graphical results by choosing None in the Graphical Results menu toolbar and view our results through Larsa's spreadsheets. Open the Stresses spreadsheet by selecting Results, Spreadsheets, Member, and then Stresses. The Stresses spreadsheet shows stresses at preset locations on the perimeter of the cross-section called Stress Recovery Points. Four Stress Recovery Points have been preset for the T-shape at the four extreme corners. These stresses are shown at segments within each member element and the number of segments to divide each member into is controlled in Results Display Settings under the Results menu. At this point, we can close the spreadsheet and continue on to the next part of this tutorial to perform an influence line live load analysis.